Welcome, in this video we will take a look on how to use OBD11's long coding and what it is. When you connect your OBD11, you have a bunch of these one-click applications that you can use to customize your car, but the problem is they cost credits. If you don't have unlimited plan, each of these applications will cost you from 10 to 100 credits, and those credits can be bought only with the real money. But what these apps do is do the long coding for you and make a change, so if you do that long long coding yourself, you can customize your car without buying the credits. And it is definitely not as hard as it sounds. There is no coding language that you need to learn. It is basically just selecting from a bunch of options. I will show you how it is done. And by the way, you cannot see the price in credits because I have unlimited plan. But if you have pro or free plan, you would see the price of 10 credits for most of these applications. Okay, so check this up. This is the app that will make daytime running lights from your turn signals it costs 10 credits and you can choose brightness of your turn signals now already if i want to choose maybe i will try 40 percent then i think that is not enough so i will try 100 percent let me just go back to off this is already three one click applications done 30 credits gone which means six euro would be gone if i wouldn't have ultimate plan so the way you can do this for free just with the long coding you can go to control units look for central electrics control unit number nine here it is long coding this is the whole code of this control unit it is very important that you save this value in case you mess something up by holding your finger here and now you have value which you can just copy now i have my backup in case something goes wrong i can just simply input the old value here see you have a bunch of these pages and this double digit here is like the address of the page and also the full code for one page so if I go to this page, this is byte number 7, the hex code is 00, zero which we need to change in order to make our turn signals be permanent running. And now you can see what is the page all about. Turn signals, front, left, right, as parking lights, US and Canada, 0%, so they are off currently. Now you can try ticking these boxes, see I ticked this, gave me 2%, I gave this, I have 18%. I don't understand how exactly this works. Now I have 50% brightness. But what is easier to do, go back to 0%, just click on it. And now I have all these options from 0 to 100% and I can choose everything that I like. So back with the one click application, I have only 5 options. Here I have 100 options. See, now I set it to 100 and it will tick the boxes for me. So if I tick off these three boxes, I will get 100%. And also you can see how this hex code is changing whenever I change the option and tick the box. I have 0, 0. See, I change one box and it is not 0, 0 anymore. It is number 20. I tick another box. It is 24 and it will change in the whole long code. So back to my 100%, I will select 100 which is 64 hex number 64 so what i could also do i don't have to tick these boxes i can just go to click on this hex code input new value 64 press ok and now i have set them on 100 percent hold the green button which will confirm the change and you get confirmation message and now the change is done and i saved all the credits in the process so that is how you can go about it and do those changes yourself by using the long coding now a couple of important details long coding can be different for different control units as you saw the central electrics control unit has very complex code with a lot of options to customize but if i go to for example radio control unit there isn't even co long coding there is just coding for the old cars and coding here is very simple look here is the value that con contains seven digits and you get explanation for each one see here the first option the first digit actually stays the zero see that question mark that represents the one option so if the second digit is four at this description it means that configuration is set to vehicle speed display available and now i have these options next digit also you can choose options so you would just input the new value that is how the coding one works Let's check the comfort system, what coding is there.
if it is coding or long coding there is actually long coding yes and for locking there are also a lot of options for example this auto lock feature auto locking feature is available as one click application again for 10 credits or you can simply just i have it turned on see you will just go here and tick these two boxes and voila you saved 10 credits and you actually save more credits because when you try to customize something you can switch it on then switch it back and you already lost 20 credits in the process with this long code you can try as many variations as you like and you still won't spend any credits so you won't spend any money if you want to make some customizations definitely get that pro plan it costs 50 dollars per year and 50 dollars per year i know a lot of people don't want to pay subscription for these obd2 tools and that is fine but if you want to do some customizations 50 dollars worth of credits there is high possibility that you would burn them in one or two days even 50 dollars of credits around 300 credits so you have just 30 one click applications or 15 if you switch them on and then back or if you try multiple variations like if i want to try every option that is available as one click application for this audi i would quickly burn 100 or 200 credits which is already half of the price of pro plan and i would do that in one day but when you buy pro plan you have it for a whole year and you can do as much coding for as many cars you like so my advice get the pro plan there is also link in description you can buy everything from obd11 if you want so that is a long coding many changes are also done with obd11's adaptations when you look at those instructions on how to customize certain things they often contains the steps in the long coding but also in the adaptations and i also have or will have separate video on adaptations i will put a link somewhere up here one detail about long coding can always go to history and now you see every change that you have done in long coding including the old value and new value so you can easily go back there is record for every change you make so you can use it as backup 